Hey guys, this is Dr. Sanita from Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way and today we are going to be going over ugly duckling stage which is an important topic so let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon that way you get notified as soon as I release a video. So the early duckling stage is also known as physiologic median diastema or the broadband phenomena. So this situation, the early duckling stage, this situation is described by the broadband. It is known as early duckling stage as the children, they tend to look ugly during this period of time, during this phase. Now the early duckling stage it is seen between 7 to 11 years but uh, in some books it is given 8 to 9 years so it occurs between 7 to 11 years when the permanent canines are erupting so basically when the permanent canines are erupting they displaces the roots of the central incisor and creating a midline diastema so early duckling stage is a transient malocclusion wherein the midline diastema is created between the central incisors and this is a transient this is a temporary it is not a permanent malocclusion it is just a temporary or the transient that's why early duckling stage is also known as self-correcting malocclusion it corrects when the permanent teeth are erupted when the permanent teeth erupts in the oral cavity this situation this phase it automatically corrects. The malocclusion is automatically corrected. So it is also known as self-correcting malocclusion or transient malocclusion. So when the canines are erupting, canine imprints the roots of lateral incisor. They imprint the, the roots of lateral incisor and creates a pressure in the oral cavity which diverge the crowns distally. So both the crowns, when this canine, the right side canine is erupting, it creates a pressure on the right side of the lateral incisor and thus on the other side also the same thing happens. So this bilateral effect which is caused creates a midline diastema and this the spacing is temporary. This spacing is transient and it occurs between both the central incisors and as the canine come into occlusion, they are automatically corrected. The, the situation is automatically corrected. So it is a metamorphosis form which is unesthetically uh, an aesthetic situation. A diastema is created when the child is between 7 to 9 years. So this, this serves as a guideline for the eruption of the permanent canines. And if any attempt is done to correct this malocclusion, any attempt is done to correct malocclusion which happens between 7 to 11 years, the midline diastema is going to correct, then the apex of lateral incisor will be damaged and canine is going to come in a deflective path of eruption. There is going to be a deflective path of eruption. So if the diastema is less than 2 millimeter, it should not be corrected at this stage at 7 to 11 years so this situation is known as early duckling stage which is a transient form of malocclusion wherein a midline diastema is created between the central incisors due to the erupting canines due to the erupting permanent canines that displaces the roots of lateral and central and creating a midline diastema which is known as ugly duckling stage i hope that i helped you understand and learn early duckling stage if you have any questions leave it in the comment below if you enjoy the video like it share it subscribe it and i'll see you soon